dental is a huge need among students. For those of us who have ever had a toothache, we know how hard it can be to concentrate when we have that toothache. And so imagine if we're trying to concentrate on algebra two now. <laughs> that sounds a lot harder. I haven't been to like the dentist for like quite some time. Coming here was like my first time in a while. You'll have students come in and they haven't seen a dentist in years, so they don't even remember the last time they've seen a dentist. Um, and it's interesting because a lot of the students, some of them will have insurance, um, some don't, but a lot of them do and just aren't utilizing it. And when they come from home countries that have gone through economic, political, and other upheavals, pretty typically they don't get much health care, uh, even worse for dental care. So we had many kids who had never been to a dentist, who had multiple dental caries and other more serious problems. So we would refer them to our clinics. But what we were finding out is that they weren't coming. Sometimes just getting to school <laughs> is uh, the energy that you have because you have so many things going on at home or just out in the community. And some of them, even with their parents, we have a lot of kids here who their parents do not speak English. And so that's just yet another barrier of why they haven't gotten some of the things that they need. It's not that the parent doesn't want it for their child, but sometimes getting those resources and kind of navigating how to do that is hard. We thought we need to do better. And what we decided to do was, you know, basically borrow the idea from rural health centers, get a mobile dental clinic so that we could bring the service to them. When you can bring the resource to them, it kind of cuts out all of the guessing work. So we're here at Franklin High School um, looking to see many of our returning patients. You know, you just walk down right from class and, you know, I don't have to take the bus or anything. I just could walk right down here and get it done and that's it, go back to school. Well, I was like surprised because I didn't know we can have this in a truck. The mobile dental clinic is such an amazing resource. It's got two full service dental chairs in it. How are you? Good. Good. Go ahead and have a seat. So in both of these operatories, um, we have the ability to do exams, x-rays, cleaning. And you're going to feel a tiny pinch. Fillings and extractions. And we also go over oral hygiene instructions, which is showing them how to brush and floss and show them the basics of why it's important to take care of your teeth. Okay, again, bite down, tap, 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 chew. Yeah, I've been flossing, doing all that. Starting to do that again because you know it gets kind of I get kind of lazy sometimes. So and open. It's good to have a reminder. So depending on the student, they might need just exam, X-rays, and cleaning. Just two simple appointments. More than likely, if they haven't been to their dentist in the past year, they're gonna need more than that in order to get what's called their treatment plan completed. Oh uh, yeah, I had a couple fillings. I still gotta get more fillings. I had a cleaning, and then I'm here again for a filling. We find that over half of them actually complete their treatment plans. We provide a sliding fee scale, but if really and truly they can't afford it, then you know we write it off uh, from our perspective. Uh, you know that's our mission to be able to provide affordable, high quality you know, medical, dental, behavioral, and other health care, uh, and do it in a way that it's accessible and that money is not the biggest barrier. So today we serve uh, 10 schools in the Seattle Public Schools, and then partnering with Shoreline Public Schools, we serve two schools over there for a total of 12. Since 2013, uh, we basically served close to 850 kids for over 2,000 visits. It's, it's busy. It's busy. Even when we have students that maybe a student isn't here for their appointment, we have a wait list. 
And then what's even nicer is that uh, over 50% of the kids come back for what we call preventive care. So that's, you know, getting their cleanings, getting their annual exams. We try to encourage the patients, don't be embarrassed, we're here to help you and we'll fix it. Mm -hmm. Feels okay? Good. There was one student who was having these horrible stomach aches and different things, and so they, they came in after that and was like, all of that has stopped. And so it was tremendous for them because, you know, I just think they kind of had learned to deal with that stomach issue. I think they really realized like, oh, you know, I can take care of this, I don't have to live with it. You know, you don't miss school, you come down, right, you walk right down here, you don't have to have your parents go out of their way to do something, you know, it's more convenient for them and you, so. Better than I expected. <laughs> Teachers refer students. Um, students come in and say, hey, my friend said they got their teeth cleaned here. I want to do that too, so. It's great. It's great. Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.